Hey guys, it's Bill back on the farm today. I uh, got a new attachment for my mini excavator. I bought a hydraulic thumb for it. Uh, I got it off eBay. It's a Typhoon brand. It's supposed to fit all the mini excavators like this. But uh, if you don't know what this is, this one's an AGT Industrial QH12. It has a 13 and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. And it's really pretty powerful. I've had it out digging a few times and I did notice digging with the mechanical thumb can be difficult because you can't really get the bucket down far enough to get a really good scoop with the mechanical thumb there. So that's one reason I wanted to get the hydraulic thumb just to hopefully move that thumb up higher and not have to take it off to, to dig. But uh, it's been a really good unit. I've had it out a few times. Uh, pretty fun. You know, it's not fast at all. It tracks pretty slow, but it definitely has plenty of power. And it's been a really good uh, mini excavator. Uh, but uh, let's look at this thumb and see if we can get it put on there today. Like I said, this was a Typhoon brand made in China. Uh, it's shipped out of Chicago. Uh, so did this when I bought this on eBay. Uh, of course, it's made in China, but uh, it shipped out of Chicago. It was very fast shipping. Uh, shipped it to my work and then hauled it here. There's a couple videos on it already that when I got it, uh, you can check out if you want. But yeah, this thumb uh, was reasonably priced. I put a bid on it and I won the bid. Uh, it comes with the hydraulic lines, which look pretty good. I mean, everything looks pretty good quality. Uh, nice thick steel. But uh, let's work on getting this thing put on. This one was a little snug. I guess I don't need to take that one out. Let's get some of these pins out. Say this one can stay in, this one can stay in.
started raining out, I wanted to bring the tractor in. Let's tighten all these bolts up. Got the nylon lock nut, so that's good. And this doesn't move, so it can be pretty snug. One more up here. This one, I don't think we want to lock down. Yeah, I think it should work. Yeah. I don't know, I'm going to leave it just a little loose there. All right. Let's get the lines hooked up. We'll put a drain pan down here just in case we get some fluid leaking out. All right, let's hook it up to the cylinder first. There probably isn't any fluid in this.
something else to hold on to that. This is all I got. It has an O-ring fitting, so it shouldn't have to be too tight. All right, let's get the other one on. I'm just thinking ahead, the way the these lines are angled, to me, with these lines right up here, it would be better if they angled this way so the hoses could just go like that. Here, the hoses are going to be all twisted. I think I'm going to spin this around. All I have to do is loosen this, yeah, you know, just that one, spin it, put it back on. Let's do that. Loosen this back up. Spin this this way. Yeah, I think that'll be better. Now let's do the other side. So these lines don't hook to these, so we're going to have to try something different. Yeah, these fittings right here on the machine are too big um, to screw into these lines. I have to get a different adapter like this, 
smaller on one side and the same on the other side to hook it up. Let's go try to do that. Three days later. And we're back. Uh, it's been a few days. Uh, I went to my local uh, hydraulic shop and tried to see if they could get just or had just these fittings with the proper ends to fit between my two lines and they didn't have that so I asked them if they could they had the new ends so I asked if they could take a new end and put it onto my line of course they couldn't do that either they had to make new lines so that's where we're at we got the two new lines and now we're going to get it hooked up all right let's get this end hooked to the cylinder All right, there we go. So definitely better than the mechanical thumb. Uh, I think this is going to work out great. I'm going to go out uh, maybe over to the logs over here and we'll try to pick one up with the thumb. Let's do that. this thing worked out pretty good uh, other than the line problem we had uh, just getting that straightened out which really wasn't a big deal um, I think this thumb is nice uh, for the money it's definitely higher up out of the way than it was with the mechanical thumb plenty strong enough I mean that's to me it's awesome so any of you that are thinking about getting one of these uh, getting a hydraulic thumb for years, uh, well worth it. Uh, for the new farmsteaders that got some property and want to do a little work on your property, this uh, mini excavator is a great tool for that. Going to have a lot of, a lot of fun with this and a lot of jobs to get done with this. 
So well worth it. Uh, that's about it. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me on the farm. See you on the next one.